सो हाई एवरी वन दिस इज तेजस एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल हेयर वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट दी मार्केट ट्रेंड्स आई टी इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स इन आई टी इंडस्ट्री एंड वॉट दे आर डूइंग देयर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंसिस एंड देयर जर्नी इन डिफरेंट कंपनीज एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेस जस्ट जम्प ऑन टू माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एज अ डेटा इंजीनियर इन मेटा लंडन दिस ईयर इन मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डिड आई अप्लाई so first thing is uh, that how many projects and experience you have so in this case you cannot fake much because uh, they look into your experience and your companies and they contact your companies hr and all so i have 6 years of experience in three companies and i have done uh, multiple projects outside my companies as well now the second thing is about referrals so i always say take referrals because in this market condition there are lots of people applying for jobs and there is so much competition so for your dream jobs get a referral and what you can do is if you don't have any friend in those companies what you can do is you can go to linkedin search for the company and the people in that company and you start uh, sending the referral request for them so the second thing is uh, the hr call so after getting the referral the hr called me they sent me a mail saying that uh, they can move forward with my application so hr called me and we had a discussion of around 15 minutes where she said that the first round i'll have is for the technical round and it's a technical screening round basically so meta has this screening round first and then they have four rounds of on site or we can say loop round so this was about the hr round we just had a initial discussion now coming on to the first round of technical round uh, so the first round was including uh, three dsa questions and three sql questions i would say all the questions were around medium level questions and uh, what they are actually looking is your thinking ability and how you can think out loud so the first thing is think out loud Wh- whenever you are solving the code or writing any code keep on explaining what you are doing what you are thinking that's very important and they have different uh, mechanism to give you points based on these merits so make sure that you think out loud and then of course speed is necessary and your studies is necessary because dsa is something that it was a nightmare for me as well but i prepared it and i was able to give the answers in that time so dsa three questions medium level low to medium and sql in dsa they mostly asked around the hash map stack arrays string or uh, right now now these days we are using sliding window functions and uh, intervals because as a data engineer i think intervals and sliding window is a very common topic nowadays for the sql uh, they gave me a four uh, schema of tables about the books and authors their transactions and i cannot tell you the whole question but the thing is they asked on those schema three questions starting from the low to the medium and to the hard level but it was all about doing the left joins grouping aggregate functions like row number and average then after 3 or 4 days i got a call from hr again saying that i passed that round it went well for me and after that uh, they asked me for my availability for the on site round and that on site round happens in one or two days or three days so there are four rounds in total so she explained me it was a 45 minutes call and she explained me everything about each and every round and after the call she gave me a detailed email about each round so there are four rounds on on site de tech 1 tech 2 tech 3 and a behavioral round so de tech 1 involves the full stack uh, coding which involves the product science questions which involves your sql python data modeling everything it can be anything de tech 2 is majorly on product science and secondly on your python skills or coding skills third round is de tech 3 which is more on the etl and data modeling side where you will be given a schema you have to create a schema you will given a question and you have to create the schema and all the run the sql queries on top of it so that will be your third round and fourth round is behavioral round which is which i guess is very common in most of the companies as i said uh, i got the detailed email from uh, hr explaining all the rounds and interviews and i scheduled my interview after one month in a, uh, in may 2024 and uh, i got enough time to prepare and i'll try to link the details in the description if i can one important point to note here is that these companies like meta amazon they are now taking the product science questions which is not just important for data engineers but for data analysts and scientists as well 
बिकॉज प्रोडक्ट साइंस दे वॉन एनालाइज योर थिंकिंग एबिलिटी वैन यू आर गिवन अ प्रोडक्ट साइंस क्वेश्चन दैट मीन्स दैट वॉट विल यू डू टू एनालाइज दैट इफ अ पर्टिकुलर फीचर लाइक लेट से वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस रील्स दैन हाउ इट इज डूइंग हाउ मैनी यूजर्स आर देर वॉट सेगमेंट ऑफ यूजर्स आर यूजिंग दैट ऑल दैट सो दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू जस्ट गेट दोज पीपल विच आर जस्ट डूइंग सम बैकग्राउंड वर्क दे वॉन्ट टू नो दैट इफ गिव अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट क्वेश्चन दैन कैन यू सॉल्व इट और नॉट I'll also add few links in the description, uh, which will give you a sense of like how product science questions are there, and also the mails which Meta sends you, the HR, uh, they give you some study preparation material as well, uh, the different YouTube links and study material from where you can learn about the product science questions. Okay, so now coming on to the on-site interviews. So I on the first day I had two rounds, DE Tech One and Tech Two, which were mostly same. Moreover, these are a mix of ETL data modeling concepts and some coding questions and product sense. So you can expect a mix of everything in any of the rounds. So my first round was a full stack round, DE Tech one, where they asked me about. First question was around the product sense, where they asked uh, something like, uh, let's say that they have a Facebook composer and users are posting on that. So how would you measure the success of that composer? so few solutions you can give is like how many average monthly users are there what segment of group is uh, posting on composer how frequently they are posting and how many users are there who are regularly posting on that things like that so this will include the product sense and then after that he asked me to draw a visualization chart or diagram on excel e draw to say how i can visualize this data better Uh, as a data analyst or data scientist, so that I know that yeah, this trend shows me the correct usage of data in past months or past year. So I did some visualization. So all these questions took around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, then there were two questions. One was on SQL and one was on uh, Python. And it was the data was same for SQL. There was a table, and they asked me few questions on SQL, and it was a tough one. It was a hard SQL question. i did it and then after that uh, the the same data was coming as a stream of data and we had to solve it in python there was a different use case different question but uh, if you know python well and if you know the coding well then you can easily solve it it was also a medium level question so that whole part was d round 1 which is d tech full stack we can say so it involved product science some data modeling concepts and then sql and python coding okay after that uh, i appeared for the de tech 2 round which was again on data modeling part and product sense so first uh, they asked me around a, about a product sense question which was for example it was around uh, let's say that we introduce some new reels and videos and first of all i cannot tell you the exact questions uh, because of regulations but the point is that i'll try to give you examples uh, so that you know what they are going to ask or what you can expect so for example let's say we can take a scenario they asked around uh, let's say they have introduced new reels and video format uh, in facebook or instagram whatever and they wanted to measure the success of it so how would you do that how what metrics are involved how will you visualize it so this uh, this question took around 10 minutes and then he asked me to create a data model around it like what uh, facts and dimension table i can create uh, for this to visualize and also to create a data set that can capture the data for this question this product science question so there can be some data modeling where you have to prepare a few tables and uh, data points and columns and you can say whatever will be the partitions and you can use your data modeling techniques so in total it took me around uh, total 15 minutes the product science and creating this data model then there were two sql questions and again one python question that was again uh, the same kind of scenarios as it was in first round they gave some table and asked me to do some joins and uh, sql questions and secondly uh, there was again the streaming data and was a python question to have to solve so streaming data was coming in buffer and we have to this all the use case okay coming on to the third round actually the third round and the fourth round behavioral round happened to me after one day break it was on the third day two rounds together so first round was de tech 3 round 
uh, where it was totally on the ETL model and data modeling. So the questions you can expect can be like uh, design a ride sharing schema or a booking.com like system or Airbnb system uh, where you just have to give them the fact and dimension tables what data points will be there. So I designed the schema, uh, I created few tables and included the columns which I can and uh, after that there are 3 to 4 SQL questions on top of it. But the trick here is that you might have to change the schema according to the question to answer those questions. You cannot be rigid on your schema saying that I'll do these joins and get the result. If there is an SQL question and you see that these columns I have missed in my data set. So you can change the schema there. So they are gonna analyze your skills on that part only. How for a new use case you can add more data points in your existing schema. So Keep in mind that you might have to change the schema and you have to write the SQL also to answer those questions. So that will be there. And uh, finally on that day only there was the behavioral round which uh, with a manager and he asked me basic questions like why Meta, what values align with you which we are using at Meta and why do you want to join Meta. So they always grill you on this part like why Meta. So please prepare on that and some other behavioral round questions like uh, did you have any clashes with your manager or any superior during the work, how did you handle that and how do you take the feedback, a constructive fee uh, feedback and uh, things like, like if there is a tight deadline then how would you approach this and are there any data driven outcomes that you have given to the teams using the data. So points like that, uh, I think you might have faced behavioral round questions in other interviews as well. So it will be around on the same lines. Okay, so that was it guys. And I just hope uh, that this video can help you for your interview preparation, not just for Meta, but any other general interview for data engineers. Uh, if it helps you, then please like, share and subscribe so that it can help me as well. And I'll see you in some other videos. So stay tuned and thank you very much.